Hey hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to insert a image in Framer and also edit said image. So as you can see, I'm already uh, on Framer. I already have a own a already made template. I just downloaded a random free template from Framer and that was it. From here, I'm gonna click on the insert button on the top left corner. Here, you're gonna have to search for the media element and then select the image the image element. Gonna click it, gonna drag it right below, right between the FAQ and the get started button. From here, you can adjust the image size as your heart desires, but there's also an option on the right side of the screen. So the right side of the screen is basically the styles or the CSS for my web designers and developers. And the left side of the screen is the elements or the HTML. Here, if you scroll down, you'll find the styles. For first and foremost, you're gonna have to click on fill. Fill image and choose image. In my case, I just downloaded a random husky from uh, Pixabay. So here it is. From here, you can select you can select the resolution. I just always uh, leave it on auto. You can select the fill, the type. In my case, it's in. I always use. I you always leave it in fill. But you can select stretch style or fit, the position and the text. You can also crop the image from here and fix it to your heart's desire. I never crop it. I just post it the way it is. I usually crop it right before I add it on a framer. But that's just what I do. You, you guys can do whatever you want with your images. Uh, with the radius, you can change the corners of the picture. So let me zoom in and show you guys. As you can see, the corners are now rounded, but this is for rounding all corners. If you select here, you can round different corners. Here now, the the options are top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. So I'm going to select 50 on bottom on top left and 50 on bottom right, and here you have it different size, different radius, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. From here, you also got the overflow, it just usually uh, stay it as hidden, but you can keep it as visible, you can keep it as scroll, I just, I just usually make it as hidden, but depending on what you guys want to do, your choice, right? For the border and the shadows, I just usually leave it as it is. As you can see, for the border, you can select the color, you can select the width. So let me select a random color. Let me select a style. Nah, that's fine actually. So the the color, and then you can select the width. Let me make it a bit thicker and dash. So you can basically edit the border with for the color, the width, and the style for the border. This is how I made. I just made it. I know it's pretty ugly, but just keep in tight. It's ju it's just for showing you guys. Okay, let me let me actually. There it is, way better. And for the shadows, I usually keep the shadows. Uh, I just don't uh, adjust the shadows in the border. That's it. But but if you want to, you can choose the box or the realistic type. Depending on what type you choose, you got different stuff to uh, adjust. So you always have the color and the position, no matter which type you choose. But you also have the X and the Y sides. You've got the blur and the spread. And for the realistic one uh, type, you've got the X and the Y axis. You've got the diffusion and the focus. So let me actually delete these since I never actually add a border and shadow. The opacity, as I, as I forgot to mention it, is basically how visible you want the, in the image to be. I usually leave it on one because there's no real, there's no reason really to uh, make it a anything lower than one. If you want an actual nice looking image on the on your website, 
from here you can adjust the position I always uh, leave it as relative and this is what this is what I usually adjust the size you can also add max width you can add max height you can add min width and minimum height again you can adjust all of these by pixels and you can you can you can also adjust these if you want them fixed relative or fill or fit content but you you only got, got this with uh with the pro version of framer so i just leave them as they are you can basically delete them as well i never actually use the min and max options i don't really need them just adjust the width so let me just adjust it and that's it way better looking again after this i forgot to mention the link this is basically if you want the website to link uh, if you want the image to link to something so here's a random video i found from pixabay let's link it let's click it new tab yes so this is basically if you want uh the uh video to be displayed or whatever website link you put here in the link to uh section if you want it to be opened in a new tab or in the same tab so i'll just leave it in a new tab open it so there we have it and now if i click the video if i click the image i'm navigated to the actual video or whatever website you chose to uh, navigate by clicking the image uh, after this uh, i usually don't mess with the layout you guys can you can choose stack or grid uh, choose the direction the, the the distribute the align the wrap the gap and the padding so they're all just different stuff to to change the layout i've used the grid a few times to adjust the columns and the rows but that's basically it for the effects i've never used the effects you can use any effect you guys want so for example the appear effect you gotta trigger present and enter and you can choose how to edit the effect so as you can see it just disappeared because of the effect so i'll just go back the overlays i never use the overlays rarely maybe some of my uh, web designer friends used it but i've never heard any of any of my friends use the overlays the cursor again never use it really doesn't really matter that much the transforms the scrolls this is all of this stuff especially the transforms and the and the effects this is what this is what most web designers use this is what, if they want to make it you know look cool some cool transitions and animations and stuff but for us normies that just want to make a simple website that looks good the uh, effects the uh, transformation all this stuff doesn't really matter focus on the styles focus on the if you want to add a link focus on the positioning and on the layout and that's basically it and uh, i hope you guys like this tutorial i hope you guys found it helpful if you actually found it helpful make sure to leave it a like leave the video a like subscribe to the channel and uh make sure to comment down below what else do you want me to make a video about anything page builders uh video editing uh any, any problems you've got with social media i would be glad to help you guys out so have a nice day and peace out